So now I want to take a minute to be sure that you understand why this paleosol that we just talked about in the previous slide is really important. So first of all, let's figure out what a paleosol is. The word paleo means old. The word sol means soil. So what we're looking at is an old soil zone. So let's first figure out how soil is made. Soil is a combination of mud, which we know is clay and silt, plus organics. But how do we make soil? We make it through erosion. So, here's the important thing. If we are talking about a paleosol, we know that it could only form from erosion. Right? Because that's how right, our soil layers accumulate. So, what is erosion? Right? Erosion is the beating of rocks, right? the breakdown of rocks over time, whether it is from wind or water or rain or ice. Right? It's the breakdown of those products. You see it all the time in coastal Louisiana. So when I say the word erosion, you should be thinking of water. So here's an important thing that we haven't talked about yet. We have not talked about where the oceans are where the water is on our continent. So we have to look for clues in the rocks that tells us, well, when did we start accumulating an ocean? Well, if I see a paleosol, and I know that paleosol formed from erosion, I know there had to have been water. Now here comes something even more important. That paleosol in it has a zircon grain. And as we've learned, zircons are really important little grains, right? When they form, they hold those radioactive elements in them and they tell us exactly when our rocks form. So we like to find our zircons. And that zircon, okay, is 4.4 billion years old. All right? So, now what's also important is in this paleosol zone, it's a sandstone. So how do we get this zircon grain out of the rock it initially formed in to get it into the sandstone? Well, remember, a sandstone is a clastic sedimentary rock and classic sedimentary rocks form from erosion. So all fingers here are pointing towards the need of water to form this paleosol to have the zircon in it. So what's really important about this paleosol is this tells us that at 3.46 billion years ago there was enough water on our planet to start erosion. So we know there had to have been water at least by this date. Maybe earlier, but at least by this date. So this is really important. 